What up? Hello. Okay. Cars might be in the background. That can be noisy. Hope you're having a good day today. If you're not, it may be the case that good stuff will happen right after or that good stuff will happen in the future. And um, and if you can figure out a way to deal with whatever you're struggling with right now, then in the future, you may have the tools to beat a similar struggle. If you're, if you're dealing with something extremely hard right now, because like, as I've, I think mainly, I think I've at this point mentioned multiple times in the few videos that the series has been, um, and I didn't even know that the last video would be in this series. I thought I was going to have it in the 42, 42 is fortified. But um, as I've mentioned, like, there were two days that were rough in a row for me. And what I experienced is, what I experienced is that, well, just in case I, I was looking like I knew people and I was nodding, that person didn't even, like, see me. So, But um, what I've experienced in my two days of struggle, and I'd be struggling a lot, like, and I think, I've, I, I mean, I think the reality is that people struggle a lot. Whether Like, last year was a certain, like, outside of political stuff or more global or world corona stuff, like, or maybe also connect to that, like, people seem like they're having special struggles last year. But even outside of last year, like, people be struggling with relationships, with health, with relationships um <laughs> with love but um but yeah just what what i noticed in my particular two day struggle this particular time is that both days there are good things that happen like good like good good things that happened um afterwards and then in both cases, there's a little something at the end of the day that was that was not great. Um, I think in both cases, yeah. Um, whether in one case it was something, or rather not happening that was that I thought was going to happen, and then the other day, um, just kind of the weight of something from earlier the day catching up with me again or for the first time. But um, but yeah. So something good may happen maybe maybe it'll be hugely good maybe it'll just be a little good um but something something either like even if it's not exactly like happened with me and even in the future for me it may not be the case that always there's going to be some grand good stuff that happens after grand bad stuff but maybe that is the pattern like maybe if you're experiencing something grandly hard grandly might not be a word even if you're experiencing something that's like hugely hard and and you don't have something hugely positive happen directly after, at least something a little good should happen. And I guess when when bad stuff happens, we like to dwell on it. And like there's a way that you like almost should or could dwell on it, but not dwell on it in the way that like like, if you're dwelling on something bad that happens, to address it, to learn from it, to to really listen to the emotions that the experience evokes, like, but if you're, but there's a way that we dwell on bad stuff that happens, or bad days, where we, like, like, we, like, stick to it in a certain way, so that if good stuff happens after, like, the second day that I had a bad day, on, like, Friday or whatever, um, there is good stuff popping off in the mall after, but, like, I was just stuck in the bad stuff that happened. So if you can find a way to, I mean, not to be afraid of the past or not to be afraid of bad stuff or, or I mean, I mean, past bad stuff, like to obviously if, you know, something bad could be coming in the future, there's going to be some apprehension. If you can get to a point of non-apprehension, then you're, you're, you might be at a really good spiritual level or something or faith or trust or kind of thing. But as far as past bad things that have happened, um, like, don't not to fear because I feel like a lot of people fear 
are scared to look back at the past in this culture. It's one thing if you're scared or if you like can't like it's like some bad omen, like you can't touch it, like, oh, I don't want to talk about that versus being in a centered place and being like and and not and like choosing not to look at it because at the moment you don't want to or for for whatever conscious good reason. But like, don't be afraid of your past like that's part of what made you you. And like my past is part of what made me me, so I should maybe talk to myself on that front as well. In addition to telling you that listener, person, whoever you may be. But yeah, so if you're going through something really tough, also ju- also just realize the tools that you have around you, like the people. This is one of the this is one of the fortitudes that I added to 42 fortitudes fortified that wasn't in the original ones. Um, all the tools at your disposal, like the people, things in the, in this particular country that even though we talk a lot of about like, oh, this other country, like they don't have to pay for medical care or whatnot. Um, you know, like we, we look at what's wrong with our country and there's stuff wrong with our country. There, maybe there's stuff wrong with every country, but, um, and not that I talked about, um, medical stuff and some of the stuff that I just said in, um, the 42 fortitudes fortified all at your disposal, but, The idea is to, like, realize all that you have at your disposal because there may come a time that you you have something that could help you and you you're not you're not like in good flow with that thing or you haven't um, explored that thing. And so when those tough moments, when those tough moments come, you don't like readily think of those or you don't readily access those like I have 42 fortify 42 fortitudes that I claim that one or a combination of them should be able to help someone get through anything. And, but I don't have them so like ingrained in my mind or just flowing that like, that I can just pull out and be like, oh, this one is good for that one or this one. They're not like, they don't flow in me. They're not like, I've come up with them, but do I like, do they flow in me? Are they like alive in me? Like you, you gotta know the tools you have because you literally might have something, someone, there might be something as far as like services in this country or in this or in the city you're in that is available for you. But if you don't like if you're not aware. And there's certain times that like it's helpful or it's necessary to like for those things to like for you to have like a like almost an automatic connection or or like half automatic connection to these things. So they just kind of flow easily when you need them. But in other cases, you don't need to have it like just readily available in your awareness. Like, I mean, or not readily, like just flow like that. If you like, if you can even just get yourself to realize, hey, there's this service in this city. I should look it up on the Internet or, hey, maybe like there's things that you have time for. There's struggles like in my situation with my two days of feeling like stuff was really hard. I it, it was towards the end of the week. So technically I had a like I've had what two? I mean, even though one of the days of struggle was one of the days that I kind of also had free, like I had two days past. So there were two days of struggle. And then now I have two days that where I'm not really doing like that. I, I mean, I might be doing a little here and there, but like I have two days that, you know, I have to heal or think of stuff or whatever. So and give yourself the time you need to rest. Like there's something that I like like in a certain sense, like I should, like I could, should do, or could potentially be something that I, there's something that as far as how my mind is,